Liam from Pro Wrestling Journal. Uh, I've seen you a few times live. I saw you uh, Rev Pro when Juicy Fun Life first came over, first match on the card. I then saw you main event recently, Riptide, when I think your aunt tried to rush the ring against Paul <laughs> Robinson, which was uh, an interesting occasion. What's it been like to sort of live through such a changing British scene, I guess? Cause We're a family of fighters, man. Yeah. <laughs> we all trying to get involved. Um, yeah, but no, it's been, it's been super cool, especially, you know, when we started out, that was, what, like 10, 12 years ago? Like, the wrestling scene was so different in this country, and it's been cool to see it grow and blossom, and that's why I feel like, I definitely feel super protective of it now, because, you know, it's at a point now where it's, you know, it's gaining more and more momentum, you know, now uh, people can make full-time livings out of British wrestling, where, you know, when we started, and for a long time, that wasn't the case. Um, and a lot of it comes down to just the fan support that we have now, you know, back in 2006 it wasn't there. Like nowadays, you know, we have such a fan following um, and it, it's just a crazy time to be alive because I definitely never thought that, you know, British wrestling would ever reach where it's at now. And I'm super excited to see where it goes in the next few years. Uh, Will, who talks for, uh, how was MSG? It was crazy, man. You know, I mean, I've done smaller shows. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty mental. It's pretty mental. What's the smallest you've done? Smallest, like 15 people, like, yeah, biggest 20,000, you know, yeah. just, it's a you know, yeah. <laughs> in a street fight with uh, legends like Bully Ray and stuff, so. I know, man. You know, so, we saw you on Friday and you were so laid back about the whole thing. We, I felt like we were more excited than you were. Probably, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> always laid back about everything. Before the show, I was nervous and I wasn't even on it. I had, you know, my stomach was going and I had butterflies and I'm texting him and he were okay, you prepared? He's like, yeah. <laughs> that was like, it. <laughs> what, what do you think you're gonna do? I'm like, oh, you know, get stuck in. You know, <laughs> you know, like, but um, no, it, it was pretty crazy. Like the the thing that really freaked me out the most was I made the horrendous mistake of leaving her with my credit card. And so it was literally when she texted me, she's like, "Oh boy, everyone around the drink." I'm like, "Okay, I'm gonna have to get this match over with as quickly as possible because I know what the garden is charging." So yeah, it's just get in, you know, get that win, and then get straight up to the to stop her and get, get your wife on a leash and lead her up. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Uh, Ryan from Sport Bible. Um, obviously, the, the the story with DNR is that you are the old old men of uh, of progress now. Um, what do you think about the guys that you're working with on your team and also um, the guys that you're against and what their futures hold for them? Um, well, if they make it through today, <laughs> then they might have a bright future. But, um, yeah, I mean, it, it's cool. You know, it, um, we get to team up with Jimmy. You know, this is the last time that he and I are going to be a team over here, like I said, for the foreseeable future. Um, you know, Mandrews, like I always dreamt of us he and I being a, a team called the Smart Marks, you know, um, yeah, and then I uh, just whatever dumb plans I can come up with, and then like Laguerre, I mean, I guess if I have to team with him, you know, like, um, but no, I mean, it should be cool, and uh, you know, I gotta also give a major hats off to the DNR guys, it's like, you know, say what you want about them personally, all those guys work their asses off, you know, like Mambo has come on leaps and bounds, he's a guy that, you know, always wants to listen to people, he always constantly wants to get better, same as Drew, same as Trevay, same as uh, Pasta, although usually he's just shouting at a wall, you know, like, <laughs> you know, old man, the hours of the sun, right? <laughs> so, like, you know, he's, you know, they're, they're all good guys, and, you know, um, I hope that, you know, they, they manage to step up and, you know, continue. Pass the test almost. Yeah, today. and kind of keep things going forward. You've uh, you've also got a history with um, Super Strong Style, and you were ill one of the years, and obviously yeah. unfortunately had to get removed. You died. Um, yeah, well, yeah. Um, <laughs> what what do you what do you make of the tournament generally, and, and especially this year? And who 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 do you, who who do you fancy to win? Well, um, I definitely think it sucks this year because for the second year in a row I'm not in it. So um, yeah. But no, I mean it's, it's, it's great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Start kicking off like what what are bugs? But um. No, it's, it's cool, like, it's a super cool concept, like, anytime you have tournaments, like, those big weekends, like, they're a lot of fun, like, you know, and it, it's cool as well to see, you know, how things progress and see where you get to and that, and, um, yeah, I, I think that tonight is going to be crazy, and I think tomorrow is going to be equally as crazy as well. I think it brings out the best in everyone as well with tournaments as well, people get, I mean, people are competitive anyway in wrestling, but then you put them in a tournament and they kind of, they step up one more, you know, so it, it, it will be really interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I got nothing to add. Yeah. 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 Sure. Do you do you guys enjoy it more when you've got a, a storyline that you've got now where Vicky you really get to get involved because obviously you were you were attacked yourself? I was. 
people. Um, I love storylines. I mean, that, that's the one thing I really love and always have done about wrestling. I love how you can use a manager and, you know, use that to get certain emotions out of different people. And I think that's, I've had so much fun with this. Um, but yeah, I mean, for me, obviously I'm gonna say storylines are better because <laughs> then I get involved more. But obviously you, you are, more nitty gritty, hands on, get stuck in. I don't mind either. Like as long as I get to kick someone like Marty Skull, I'm a happy man. So, <laughs> yeah, any day I get to kick Marty is a great day. <laughs> Were there any more stories about Marty from New York being had to ca be carried home? Because that's what the claim that you made out there was that you've had to carry him home to. I have. There wasn't a story from New York, but there was one from Vegas where <laughs> we. I walked into the bar. And like he came up to me, he was like, Skins, you need to help me, man. Like Jay Briscoe's trying to kill me. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, it seems a bit intense. Like I'll, I'll see what's going on. And I like I see Jay and he's drunk, but he's just, you know, happy as anything. And then I see Marty come up, he's like, come on in, Jay, I'll fight you. And then the second of Jay's like, all right, man, come on. Like, you know, then Marty's like, Skins, help me. I'm like, no, I'm not gonna help you with your story. <laughs> like, like, yeah. Just keeps on going, doesn't he? Yeah, like some people were really worried. They were like, you know, you, someone's gonna have to step in and stop Jay. I'm like, no, oh, screw that. I'm gonna let him get a few shots in first before I try to stop anything. Like, you know. But um, yeah, no, um, yeah, I hate Marty when he's drunk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's an absolute nightmare, but good dude. He is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So speaking of Marty's golf, he recently said on Twitter that um, Rampage Brown was an independent guy who he thought deserved more credit and recognition. Is there any person, guy or girl, that you guys think deserves more credit, recognition, and sort of, yeah, credit? than they currently get. I second that about Rampage. Rampage is well. he's, yeah. he's awesome. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. He's yeah, freakishly strong. And why do you um, think he doesn't get sort of the credit he deserves? I don't know. I just I think that sometimes when you're out of sight you're out of mind. And um I feel especially kind of with him as like unless you're in the ring with a lot of people you don't realise how good people are, right? Like, you know, um people can watch stuff and I feel like as a fan or a spectator you're always more drawn to what's like visually more appeasing. Like, you know, whether it's, depending on who it is in that match that's actually putting the work in, you know, but Rampage is always somebody that goes out there and gives it everything, you know, he goes, you know, balls to the wall. Um, he's an awesome heavyweight, he's freakishly athletic, and he's somebody that I definitely think should be getting a lot more uh, credibility here, there, and everywhere. Mm, definitely, another person for me, um, even though, you know, she's NXT UK, she's in progress, I think, Ginny is absolutely incredible in and out the ring. Um, I think she is she is just incredible. For me personally, she's helped me so much outside the ring with mindset. Um, she's very supportive. Uh, no matter you know where she's been, where she you know what she's doing, she's willing to listen. She's willing to learn, and I think that mindset is incredible in this business because not a lot of people have it. A lot of people are put in a spotlight and they might get an ego, or they might get a little bit too comfortable with themselves but she's always willing to do more. And I think, you know, we haven't seen the best of her yet. And I think that's someone that I think that people are kind of, I don't know, like waiting on the sidelines to really see what she can do. Um, she's had some incredible matches, but I think this next couple of years, we're really gonna, we're gonna see her shine. On that, just to bring it full circle, how much do you think that generosity that Ginny's kind of got comes from training and working with Ginny? Yeah, I, I think, now you say it, yeah, because she, she, uh, Jimmy took Ginny under his ring, really, and I think that a lot of that has been seeing the world through Jimmy's eyes as well. So you get a very realistic view of what wrestling can bring. It can be amazing, it can be wonderful, but it can also, you know, have its dips. And I think um, by having that view early on, she was able to kind of get her mindset around it and go, oh, okay, right, how can I deal with this? How can I overcome this? What do I need to do to better myself? And I think that does come from Jimmy as yeah, well. Yeah, definitely instilled that workhorse mentality of just yes. doing everything that you can to you know, make the best out of every situation, and that's all you can do. Yeah.